Hello and welcome to Around the Hoop, the Westwood Basketball Show. I'm your host, Mike Gay, with a special edition to preview the 2019 holiday tournament that will be played at uh, Bader Gymnasium later this month. Joining me today in studio are the coach and tri-captain of Needham. Uh, welcome, gentlemen. Thanks for having us. So uh, the Needham Rockets are off to a 1-0 start, and uh, the purpose of this is to introduce yourself to the Westwood community and the other communities of the teams that will be playing uh, against Westwood and each other in the upcoming tournament. Uh, so coach, we'll start with you, uh, Coach Liner, and your 12th season at Needham. Um, share a little bit about the program uh, and what to expect in the tournament. Well, first of all, we're real excited to be invited to the tournament. Uh, great opportunity for us to play other teams that we wouldn't normally play. Uh, great to play around the holidays. I know Coach St. Martin does a great job in Westwood, uh, so we're excited. Um, starting off this year, we've got a good returning group. We only returned five, but a really good five and a bunch of hungry kids that, uh, that want to play roles this year. Uh, so it's been a great start, highly competitive team, uh, a lot of toughness, and the kids share the ball and I think they play the game right. That's great. And uh, again, uh, Will, you're one of three captains, a uh, senior uh, guard. Um, share a little bit about the team in previous years and then what you've seen out of the core group uh, coming into the season. So previous years, um, we've had difficulty with guys that um, aren't just basketball players. We've had a lot of athletes that don't fully concentrate on the game itself. But I think this year, uh, Coach and I are pretty confident um, in the fact that we've got a lot of guys invested in the game and are really bought in. Um, and like he said, we've got a lot of inexperienced kids, but I think that'll prove to be fine for us. Like we've got great captains that uh, know the game well and. Um, are re really willing to lead the team. That's great. So, uh, Coach Liner, I'll, I'll have you, uh, and we won't share this with the other coaches, but uh, I'm going to ask you to self-scout. Uh, coming into the tournament, uh, what do you do well? What are some things that, uh, that you're working on? Uh, I think things we do well, we've always been, uh, you know, try to be a defensive first team, like multiple defenses, switch things up on defense, and just a team that, that can give many, many different looks to teams and uh, you know, keep them guessing, keep them off their, what they want to do. Uh, offensively, we'd like to share the ball, make the next pass, uh, run a transition, and just play. Uh, you know, one of our captains, Jacob, said after our game Friday night how much fun he had playing the game. He didn't talk about scoring or the score, or winning or losing, but just what a fun brand of basketball we played. And uh, so I think that's what hopefully everyone will see this weekend. Um, what, uh, what is the makeup of the team as far as seniors, juniors, sophomores, freshmen? It's actually a, a, a great mix. Probably for the first time for me, uh, we have a freshman playing varsity who is extremely talented, has got a very bright future, and he's just kind of finding his role where he's going to fit into a very talented team. Uh, we have four, uh, four sophomores, which is also really exciting. Uh, kids are very, very hungry to play. One got his first start uh, Friday night. Um, and then a mix of juniors and seniors, experienced and inexperienced kids. But like Will said, everybody's bought in to, uh, to kind of the messages that we want to give them. And uh, finally, uh, Will, any uh, fun, goofy uh, stories or facts about uh, either any of your co-captains, the team? Uh, what, uh, what really makes uh, Needham tick? Mm. That's a tough question. It has to be uh, you know, PG-13, so you know, something that's uh, household friendly. Uh, well, one of our co uh, tri captains, um, he's a, he's got a hot tub, so there really is no story to it. But I think <laughs> beyond the scenes, we've got you know stories within the team, you know that we just tell at the at the hot tub, and that's kind of where the chemistry just keeps on building. And I think having stuff like that beyond the court, um, whether it's a Friday night with some pizza, playing some video games, like that's really what makes Needham Needham. So. The story here is that uh, the hot tub is what makes Needham tick. And, yes, uh, there you the go. hot tub. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Well, these guys do a great job of like team dinners. Uh, we do hot yoga. We go out and do something like bowling. We've done um, laser tag in the past. All these things that help bond us. And they do an awesome job with these dinners and parents step up. And it's really a lot where chemistry is formed. That's great. Well, getting to know uh, the Needham team, it'll, it'll make it a little bit more real for, uh, for everybody from Westwood, uh, from Foxborough, and from Hingham. So best of luck in the tournament. We'll see you thank in you. Uh, a little bit uh, less, than, less than a week and a half. Yeah. All right. Thank you so, so much. Thanks so thank much. You. Thank you. There you go. Joining us next via phone is Coach Bob Niffin, uh, coach of the Hingham Harbormen. Um, welcome, Coach. And let's start off by um, having you give a quick introduction of your team. 
Yeah, this is just a great group of kids. We've had a blast every day in practice uh, so far this season, uh, especially with the juniors. If you look back three years ago, uh, that group of juniors, they were split up between three different schools. And you know the, the group of seniors that we have this year and the players that have graduated, I think have done a great job of uh, you know, making this program a special thing to be a part of. And uh, you know, to have those kids back here at Hingham and to be a part of the program um, you know, is, uh, is special and, and, like I said, a lot of fun. Uh, after graduating, like I said, our top eight players last year, there's a lot of question marks coming into the season. Uh, but they've put in the work every day and uh, started to answer some of those, but I'm excited to, uh, uh, to see those questions uh, answered over the course of the season. Coach, for the fans of Westwood, Needham, and Foxborough, I'm going to ask you to do some self-scouting. Uh, what is uh, the Hingham Harborman, what do you do really well, and what are some of the things that you're working on early in the season? Uh, so uh, you know, we're, we're a very young team this year. Uh, there's a lot of learning going on in practice every day. Uh, this year, we don't have that one player that, uh, that we need to rely on to, to score all of our points. Uh, for our first three games, we've had nine different scores in each game. Each game has had a different high score, and that's the type of basketball that we need to play to be successful. Uh, team basketball and selfish basketball, and we've done a great job uh, doing that over the first three games, and uh, I'm excited to, uh, to see that continue over the course of the season. And finally, Coach, um, again, for the fans of the other towns, uh, what are some fun stories, a fun fact, maybe about one of the coaches, uh, about your players, uh, some, some team building things that you've done? Uh, what are some things that the other towns should know when you come into Bader Gymnasium? So we're, uh, we started off the season 3-0. Uh, coming out of last season, we graduated our top eight players, so I'm excited about where we're at. Uh, all three game, games were in league play, but I'm excited to get out of league and uh, face some of the uh, opposing league's top teams in this, uh, this Christmas tournament. Well, that's great. I want to thank you so much, uh, Coach Niffin, for joining us and Around the Hoop. Uh, we really look forward to seeing you and the Hingham Harbormen. Um, you'll be playing Westwood High School at 3 p.m. on the 29th uh, of December uh, to kick off the holiday tournament. Uh, we wish you the very best of luck. Happy holidays to, to you and your team. And joining us via phone is Coach John Gibbs, uh, coach of the Foxborough Warriors. Uh, coach, welcome to Around the Hoop, and uh, why don't you introduce your team, uh, yourself, and uh, the Foxborough program. I think what's fun about this team or sets this team apart a little bit is again just having those eight seniors. You've got eight guys in this team that are, you know, very, very close friends on and off the court. They've been playing basketball together since they were little, little kids and uh, they've been close friends since they were young kids. So just the chemistry, just the camaraderie, just the way those guys get along day in and day out, you know, on the court, off the court, you know, during, before, after practice and things like that in the locker room, uh, on the bus rides. It's just, a, it's just a fun group of kids to be around. They're all good kids, they're all good students, and uh, it's just a tight knit group, and, uh, and it really does feel like a family this year, and, uh, and that just really makes it, it fun, and we're looking forward to having a really fun, fun ride and a fun journey over these next couple of months. Thanks so much, Coach, and for uh, the other towns and for the spectators that are gonna be joining us for the holiday tournament, uh, I'm gonna ask you to do some self-scouting. Uh, what, what do excuse me, the Foxborough Warriors do really well uh, and what are some of the things you're working on early in the season? So we have a veteran team. We have eight seniors on the roster, and we also have a junior who started every game last year and was a league all-star for us last year. So it's definitely an experienced team, which is nice. Um, they've been in a lot of these games before against good competition, tough environments, tough situations late in the game. So it's nice to have an experienced group. Uh, for us, the foundation of the team is always our defense. We really pride ourselves on playing tough defense. We're still... Uh, working to get to where we want to be at this point in the year, but we always try to set our defensive foundation first. And then offensively, we're really trying to be balanced this year. And we think we have a lot of guys that are capable on any given night of, uh, of having a big scoring game. And we have a lot of different weapons and a lot of guys that complement each other really well in the offensive end. So uh, our, our focus this year is on, as always, being unselfish, but really being balanced on the offensive end. And we think we have a team where it can be different guys on different nights that are leading the way, depending on who's got the hot hand or who has a good matchup. So, um, you know, we try to be balanced offensively and, and play hard-nosed defense. But, again, it's, it's really nice to have an experienced group of seniors and, uh, and, a, and a really veteran team. And finally, Coach, what are some fun stories, some fun facts, uh, maybe about uh, yourself, the team, uh, some of your coaches uh, that would allow the other towns to, to get to know you a little bit better uh, before the tournament tips off? So, one-on-one -on -one so far, we've only had two games. 
Uh, both tough road games. We went on the road and played at Tong and lost a close one by six. And then we went on the road in the non-league game at Bishop Fien and won a close one by seven. So uh, it's good. You know, we think it's good to play those tough early road games against good competition. It helps us get ready for our league play and, and hopefully to be playing our best basketball down the stretch at the end of the year in February and March. And we're looking forward to more of the same with this tournament. Obviously, Needham, Westwood, and Hingham are three of the best programs in the state. And uh, whatever happens this tournament, as far as the outcome, we're looking forward to, uh, to having some games that will test us early and give us a good indication of where we're at and what we need to do moving forward to get better. And, uh, and we're looking forward to a really exciting tournament. I want to thank you, Coach Gibbs, for joining us on Around the Hoop uh, and sharing information about your team to get to know you and the players a bit better. Uh, we will see you at 5 p.m. on the 29th, where you'll play Needham uh, in the first, uh, first day games. Um, until then, have a great holiday season. Thank you again for joining us on Around the Hoop, the Westwood Basketball Show, in this special preview to the 2019 Holiday Tournament. We're going to have four great teams squaring off on the 29th and 30th of December in Bader Gymnasium, uh, Westwood as the host, uh, Hingham, Needham, and Foxborough. Should be great action. Three o'clock uh, will be the first game between Hingham and Westwood, and then five o'clock will be the second game, uh, which uh, has Needham versus Foxborough. It's the best ticket in town, so please come out to support all of the teams, and hopefully now you got to know each of those teams a little bit better. Uh, I want to thank the Westwood Media Center staff, Erica Adams, Connor Lynch, and Melinda Garfield. Uh, if you haven't been down to 15 Perwell Street, you're missing out. Um, they will be closed over the holiday season and reopen um, in the beginning of 2020. Sounds weird to say. Uh, for everybody at Western Media Center, thank you to all the coaches. Uh, I'm Mike Gay, and we'll see you at Bader Gym on the 29th and 30th.